Hey guys, my name is Siniac and welcome back to another episode of Academia. Where last episode guys, we built stuff like the art room, the science lab, we've got all the flooring set up, we made some really really good progress uh, last episode, but now we're stepping things up a notch. We're now gonna probably go bankrupt for quite some time as I try and expand the school to accommodate four new classrooms. And maybe some other rooms as well. It's going to be quite tough to get them all in because I don't have a lot of money. And it's quite expensive to build new classrooms and just new areas in general. But it's going to be part of the fun. We are going to get this done. I can already see there is some damage down here. Uh, repair it, please. Did I press repair? Yeah, there we go. So those guys repair that. They're all actually going to go home right now. Which is quite funny. Uh, we need to plan then where it's all going to go in the classrooms. And kind of figure out how we want to do this. Now, we're just going to wait for the next day. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bright and early, they rise. Should we wait for that extra money just to come in? There we go, we got it. 8,500. Right. So, I've been thinking I do the classrooms here to finalise this area of the map off. Now, the reason for that is I do have one of the grants, which is the Sound of Music, which is to build a music room. So if I apply for that, just get an extra 2,500. What I'm thinking is, if I build the corridors here, go round, and then the classrooms at the end, I have a nice little square up there to do our music room, which will be perfect for us. So we need to blueprint this then. So wall outline. I always forget what the size of our classrooms are. They're 12 by 12s. We have a four wide uh, corridor. One, two, three, four. So here we go. So a 12... By 12, by 12, by 12. So that's two there already. No, 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 noise. So if I do another 12 here. So we're just gonna have little gaps in. I like the little grid system that we've got going on. So that's three classrooms down already. Right, a 12 here, 12 there. That'll be our little music room when we get set up. Now, the reason we're leaving corridors is because you just never know. You just never know if you want to expand in the future. So it's always good to give us that little option just after. Now, this here, I'm not too sure what to do with this little bit. But just for now, we'll kind of zone it in as if it's going to be some sort of room. Whoa. I'm not sure what type of room it's going to be. But it's going to be something. And I just like how um <laughs> we kind of have... Those little pointy out sticky bits. It's kind of dope, isn't it? Now, yes, this is going to be very, very expensive to get all this done. So what I'm thinking is I don't go full, fully fledged, like ridiculously crazy. Getting everything in right now. We'll, we'll take it easy. So build then. We're going to first demolish those walls there. And those walls there. We're going to get our beautiful beige walls out. And we'll kind of zone the walls first. Now that cost me quite a bit just to get that slight bit set up there. Holy moly, this is going to be expensive. We're going to try and focus on the classrooms first. And then my money runs out there. My money runs out there. That is all the funds that we have right now. And it's still only 9 a.m. in the morning. Not great, is it, guys? Definitely not great. <laughs> Oh man, this is so expensive. You don't realise how expensive it is until you try and like start building ridiculous things. But we do get little bits of money coming in anyway when some of the you know students they go to the cafeteria, they use the vending machines and stuff like that. So money will eventually come back in. We've got 212 students. One of my next grants is to get the school up and above. Uh, 300 students, so we're, we're averaging 106 students per every four classrooms. So once I get these four classrooms in, I should then technically have 318 students. If I just go off the same design we've got for all the other ones. And that means I complete that next grant very, very easily. Very, very easily. But again, we just gotta wait. We have literally just gotta wait until we get that sweet cash money moolah coming in your boy's bank. So while we're waiting then, we might as well just kind of zone these classrooms. So classrooms, freshmen, we'll start with freshmen down here. We'll go sophomore up here. We'll go junior over here. And we kind of don't need to get flooring in to begin with. Can I just get away with just placing in the objects? Maybe. 
We're going very budget with this classroom design right now. Very, very budget. Right, we should get a little bit extra money now coming. There we go, nearly 2,000 smack a -roonies. So objects then, straight classroom. Let's try and do this. So we're, I'm going to try and follow the same designs we got over here. If I can. Let me start with the, uh, the desk. There we go, beautiful. So one desk in, one chair in. One of those in. How much are these again? I forget. So let's go crazy. 400 to get just eight in there. Might just go the whole hog here. So that is 450 to go there. 450 to go there. Then we need another 450 to finalize that up. And that's pretty much everything that you want in that classroom. Like basic stuff, not like without the plants or the bins or the fans or anything else on the walls. Just the basic stuff. Right, we got so many students being caught doing rowdy things then. Let's check out our reports. So, they are still high. The statistics are still pretty high. Um, what's the lowest? The lowest is currently... What's this one? History. So, do we have some pretty weak history teachers? History. Yeah, you can kind of say that they're pretty low-ish. They're only like 80s. I mean, I'm saying they're low, can, you know, it's still 80%. It's still good. I mean, I don't have the money to hire a 100% history teacher. You crazy? Yeah, you, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, man. So, we're only on day three. We gotta get to day nine before the next school year starts. Um, we might as well then also zone the music room just to kind of get it in so we understand where things are going in case I do forget because stuff like that does happen so music room is obviously up here now what goes into it then oh quite a few things so I was just trying to think like what could I do to finish off that grant let me just see how much how expensive they are in the music room so what does it need piano oh, zoom in again so piano is okay it's 150 how many pianos do we need? Alright, we'll just go with one. We need one cabinet. We'll go with one chalkboard. And we need five chairs. So if I kind of started like this one to let's just go the full like distance there. It does need to be indoors. Granted, it needs to be indoors. Uh, the classrooms don't know. So if I could... Yeah, it would cost me too much money to put all the walls around, wouldn't it? It would. I gotta spend my money wisely! You know what? No, we'll do it. Because we might get another grant that could be helpful to us after. So 1,100. There we go. How much is a door again? 100 smackaroonies. Right, we'll drop this door here. Walls, beige wall. Ooh, where did that money come from, by the way? Was that money for- Oh, we completed that grant. Okay, so maybe it didn't have to be indoors. <gasps> oh, we got the soccer field too, guys. We got the soccer field too. We can build that at some point. That's going to be pretty dope. Right, should we get that on the way as well? It's going to give me pretty much nothing in return, apart from the 400 completion bonus. But I'll apply for it. Because that should be pretty easy to build. To do, build a field. And if I built it down here... So if I blueprint this, this is going to be quite interesting. So wall outline. So if I make it go like 25 by 25, and that will be our field here. And of course, we can have like a corridor going up. Oh, we erase that. We have a co. Well, the corridor is technically going to go all the way around, isn't it? Right, is that four there? One, two, three, four. Yep, should be. So let me just zone this sort of round then. So uh, zones all. We need the field. There we go. There's the field. I wonder what stuff happens in the field then. The field we got set up. Pretty dope. That kind of completes that grunt as well. <laughs> got him. 
Right, what we'll also do is we'll demolish these walls that are going to lead into them corridors. I think we get a little bit of money back for doing that as well. I ain't 100% sure. I can't remember. Uh, but we have a field, so they can now go blow some energy and steam out and also do their PE classes as well. So, yeah, we did get a bit of money we're back in return. We got a tree in the music room. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right, objects then. Back to the classrooms. Chairs. There we go. So that's quite a few in there. And I need to think about doing doors. So build doors. So a door here. Door there. And now we wait for the next day. Um, door there. I'm going to throw that door up there. So we can kind of then follow borderline the same line that we're doing. So, teacher's desk's all down, chairs all down, chalkboards, drop these bad boys in, and then we're going to need lots of chairs, lots and lots of chairs, oh no, 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 send it, stop, pause, are they the right chairs, no, I put the goddamn wrong chairs in, I knew. I knew something was up. There we go. Hopefully I get my money back for those. Hopefully I get a nice little refund. Damn it, boy. You're so stupid. Right, I'm just watching how far this money goes. That classroom will then be complete. Right, we'll see if I get any money back for dismantling those. I should do, technically. I should do. Look at them now. All doing their little jumping, like, stars. Look at him working out. Right, reports. Where's PE? It's here, the gym. Yeah. Um, right, that should now increase. Just because, like, we have the facility for it. I wonder if you can put anything out there as well. Objects. Uh, there's no field thing, is there? No, I wonder if you could put, like, 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 gym equipment or something out there or whatnot. That would have been cool. Right, we can... Oh, yeah, we are getting the money back. Right, can you get that chair out, please? There we go. Boom! Oh, I got the wrong chair there! <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I I find... I, I, I just kill myself sometimes. It's hilarious. Right, I got the right chairs in everywhere else, right? Yeah. Right, get that chair out. Get that one in. That classroom is then ticked off the list. Kind of. we still got to do a lot more stuff to it. But we're getting somewhere. We're on day six right now. It's now dismissal time. They're all going to be going home. They're all going to be going home. Goodbye, children. Come back tomorrow and hopefully I've done a little bit more work. What am, what am I thinking? Of course I've done no work. Any new grants? It's just school expansions. Let's apply for that then, because it gives me the 2,500 income boost. And then we get to objects, build, more chair stuff. So just chair things. <laughs> right, come on. Boom. All right, we should be able to get quite a bit of that in. All right, same for here as well. Right, yep. Yeah. If I get all that in then, that is all the objects in the classroom. For a basic classroom, pretty much all done. So all we got to do now is wait for the end of the school year. And then we're rocking and rolling. We've got the cash money moolah. We are killing the game. As we got those big bucks coming in. We've got a lot of stuff we still need to research it though, isn't there? There's like the leftovers. So we can train cooks the art of heating yesterday's leftover. Increase food production by 100%. That doesn't sound too good, does it? Hit the therapy, train counselors, hypnotize and spend uh, speed up therapy, decrease the... Okay. Uh, good drugs! Right. Ad campaign. South promote... Uh, despite it cause a measure to increase prestige by 50. Got Greg's list. Cheaper candidates. Teacher training. Skilled workers. Alright, it's all go, guys. We got a lot of stuff we need to get done. Right, so we're currently day seven then. We'll probably see it out all the way down to the end of the school term just so we can get them 300 students in and just to see where we're ranking because this school term we've got so many you know new things in. 
Um, we also need the cleaners to get on top of it because some of this stuff, this like, like the science lab is so dirty right now. We need to put bins in there. There is so many things that we need to get done in this school, but it just all comes down to money at the end of the day. It all comes down to the cash, the monies, the moolahs. Now, I wonder if I spent more money and like filled in the gaps, would that still work? I'm quite interested to find out about that. If that's possible. I don't know, man. We, 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 the school is like ridiculously overpopulated right now. It's like, I, 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 this is another thing as well. At some point, I need to build duplicate of the current rooms that we have just to house the amount of demand for them. It's crazy. It is crazy. Right, so they're all going home again. Hasta la vista, baby. Get out of here. And now we play the waiting game again. Right, they're back in there. So just out of interest then, objects, these chairs. Now if I was to, I'm going to experiment with this freshman class here. If I was to go the whole hog and just like literally obliterate it with so many chairs in. Will they still use it? Will they find, you know, the ability to walk to these? Yes, they do. They do. Quite really, they sit in like where the, the the chairs were in the first place, so they can still get to it. Then it just it literally ups the amount of students per classroom, and the more students that we kind of have, you just gotta remember, the more daily income cash that we get. We need the cleaners to get on it, man. I feel like it's because I have cleaners set to roots, and we have no free moving cleaners. If that makes sense. So apparently a sofa is broke. Oh yeah, a sofa is broke. It cost me 150 to repair it. I don't have that money. I got $63 in the bank. You think I made the money in this school? You think I'm the rich principal? Nah, mate. Get out of here. Right, reports. So, ooh, the history and math is now starting to drop. The best thing that we currently have right now is art and science. That classroom size is 62. Uh, this is my bonus penalty applies to sign teacher uh, teaching ability. Why is the bonus so low? Is that because I got so many like chairs in there? Is that what it is? It could be. Maybe I don't have as many chairs in there. How about that? We're getting the money back for those anyway. We might as well use it to build some like extra walls. And I ran out of money. <laughs> that is the story of my life with this game. Always running out of money. Right. Come on, boy. It is the last day of the school term. This is where all the things happen right now. All the things. Right, fix that broken sofa too. Right, we got more money coming in. So, reports now. Okay, yes. It is down to the fact that we have too many chairs per classroom. So, just for the sake of it then... Yeah, it's going to decrease me overall. My student count. But it's not helping the students learning. Is it really? So we might not reach the 300 student count right now. But you got to remember, when the school term's over, we have like at least 50,000 to use to like... Play around with when it comes to improving the school for the next term. So, we, even before we start the next time, we can build some more classrooms if we need. Just kind of get rid of all the extra chairs. And see how that then, in terms of reports. So, it drops the satisfaction now down to minus two. I think, r realistically, they only want like 30 students per classroom. <clears throat> I think that's what they're trying to get at. In this game. So, reports then. Yeah. Th they're pretty much saying they need 30 students per classroom so I need to get rid of two more chairs per classroom 
That means I'll have 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, 240. I should have enough to have, like, fringe of students. If we had all the students, though. That is, that is the point I'm trying to make. But I also need to hire... Oh, I also need to hire teachers for next time round as well. That's going to be so goddamn expensive. Right, the final s exams are now on go going. We got a grade A. I, I need to honestly remember what I got last time. We got a grade A. Wow, we've had a total of 40 students fail altogether. Damn, boy. Um, okay, we got a total 81% pass. Uh, the student results there. Evaluation is the one I'm most interested in. Have we in last year? Oh, we've gone up quite dramatically, guys. We were ranked 399th best school in the world. Now we're 311. We've gone up 88 places, which has given us a huge cash boost. I always forget that's our motto. The more KFC I get, no. Um, right. That's interesting. So we need like over... Wow, we need quite a bit to get ranked high, but we we're definitely climbing. We are definitely 150% climbing. How much money have we got to uh, use now? Oh, 78,000, guys. We get to use. Right. So we'll quickly dismantle two chairs per each classroom right now. So we can guarantee that we have the 30 students per teacher in each room. To kind of fill up our satisfaction and maximize the our teacher's ability to obviously educate and teach the students. All good stuff. Staff, we're going to hire some more janitors. Because the school dramatically needs more janitors. There we go. Um, Alright, let's fast forward that quickly so we can get that kind of pretty much done in the school. So dismantling a few chairs obviously gives us $50 back per each chair that we dismantle. So I'm just waiting to see now all these chairs now gone. Good stuff. So reports then we have now 0% satisfactory. So it's literally 30 per 30. I suppose if we went below 30, it will go plus one satisfactory. But I want to maximize the amount of students that I can have. Right, that's all good. That is all good. Uh, cleaners are now cleaning. Objects. We need to put some bins down. Now, where's the bins? Or trash cans, should I say. There we go. So, each messy classroom is now going to get a trash can. Or each messy room, should I say. Right, we got trash We don't even have... No, do we have trash cans in here? No, we have drinking fountains. Wow, we don't have trash cans in there. Alright, trash can. Every room possible. Trash can! That needs it, I mean. Alright, let's throw a trash can everywhere right now. It's needed, guys. It's definitely needed. Right, there we go. Okay. So that's all in. We'll finalize the walls. Because we'll pretty much get the rest of it done for next episode. So make sure you are literally hyped for that, boys. And we'll get the flooring done for the individual room. So obviously each classroom has this beautiful blue floor. Uh, walls. Missing out these walls here. Did he go under the door? No, the wooden floor went under the door. I'm just trying to figure out what we had in there. Now, for carpets for the music room, then, what haven't we used? A brown carpet, maybe? Let's try a brown carpet. See how that goes down? Right, it's a lot for our workers now to get done again. So, we're getting, we're getting going. We're just waiting for our cleaners to get into, like... The science room is filthy. Can you, someone please clean it? Well, there we go. Yeah, cleaner's coming in now. Cleaning up. GG. GG. I want this school spick and span for the next school term. Do I sound like a principal now, guys? Do I sound like I have some authority? <laughs> uh, build outdoors. Grass. How much is grass? Is 100. 
Grab a floor. Oh, we can do some pretty cool stuff with the field outside. Yeah, now I'm excited for that. Now I'm legit excited for the field. Right, okay, so while we end it here then, guys, we got 64,000 in the bank. Now, what's going to happen before now and we start the school year is, obviously, we want our cleaners to clean the whole school. So the school is spick and span, ready to go. Uh, I want to finalize the hallways, the walls as well, get it all up and running. I want to hire the new teachers that we need for the new classrooms. If I have enough money, I'm probably going to fire some of the old teachers so we can get higher grade of teachers, if that makes sense. And then we can accept the next batch of students. May even look towards getting in some more classrooms as well. Because our capacity right now... Look at it. Look at it. We need more freshmen. We've got six more freshmen that we can handle. So we may even build four more classrooms. We'll probably do that. And we'll probably do this here and here, maybe, or going like I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out where we're going to pull it. But we can have go around the field, and it should be pretty good. It should be pretty good. Uh, we should also look at this and sort out the schedule. I want to know if it's possible. I don't know if it is. If we can, yeah. Oh, we should be able to. We should be able to um, switch things up. So like. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors go to lunch at different times, so we don't have an overcrowded cafeteria and everyone's going to get served and fed. That stuff's quite important, isn't it? We need to think about that kind of stuff. So, if you're hyped for the next episode, guys, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're not are new around here, make sure you subscribe, because you're not going to miss out on some of the pretty awesome stuff we got coming up soon. And, I hope you did enjoy, guys. If you did... Special life, but <laughs> and until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. <laughs> <laughs>